whole series of creatures and manifestations and monsters that emerge out of the cave in order to basically create a world ready for winter. The Old Agath has this very heavy association with Samhain, so the festival of Samhain, which we refer to now in Irish as, as Ihauna, and we know also globally as the festival of Halloween. And on Samhain night, this cave was offered an opening, it offered an access point between our world and the Irish other world. So the door of this cave is opened on that last night between autumn and winter and basically a whole series of monsters, creatures and demons are reputed in the literature to emerge out of that cave in order effectively to create a world ready for winter. So they talk about birds whose breath is so foul it takes the leaves off trees, they talk about giant wild boars, they talk about three-headed monsters, giant cats, female werewolves, otherworldly armies, all of which emerge out of that cave on the last night, basically transforming our world and making it ready for winter. In that respect, from our traditional practices in Ireland, in terms of celebrating Samhain, we would always traditionally stay at home on that night. It was safer to stay within your own dwelling, but if you had to leave, the the, the, the nature behind it is that you would costumise yourself, you would de get disguised up as one of these creatures so as not to be brought back down into the cave in the other world at the end of the night and not be able to return. <laughs>